Hello again, YouTubers. This is your host, Black Samurai 7. I just want to make a video regarding this viral video that I watched a couple days ago. And this is regarding um, a mother who obviously does not like Trump. But I'm gonna see, but as I was watching this video, it looks like she don't just don't like Trump, she just hates him. She hates him with a passion. But the thing is, let me tell you, let me mention this. You can despise people all you want. You can do that, but the one thing you must never do is try to force is force your hatred against somebody on your own children. You should never do that. And so, what did this mother do? Um, he finds out that um, this, her son had a mock election at school, and he decided to vote for Trump. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care one bit. If he was a grown man and had the right to vote, if he wanted to vote for Trump, so be it. I don't care. But the thing is, what this mother did, she just did something that's going to traumatize this boy for the rest of his life. He's going to remember this. And I've said this before. What happens, the things that happens to children, they're going to remember it. I don't care how old he is. It says in this video he's like seven or eight years old. He's going to remember this. If you remember my video on Cody Gaines, then you should know. Just like what happened with Cody, him being shot by the police... Which is sick and, and wrong. This little boy, his mother, throw, took her son, packed up a suitcase, and had him walk, walk out. And that's just totally, totally wrong. For any mother, any mother to do that to their child. I can't believe this mother did that to him. Oh my god. You could see how horrifying this video was. How you heard this little boy cry his eyes out. Not just... Not just the boy, his brother. His brother was crying too. And I can see why. He see his brother cry, he gonna cry too. That's just awful. Somebody did that to my little brother, I'd be upset too. I ever find out my mom do this to my brother, I'd be upset. I'd be just as upset. And that's just wrong. That's just totally, totally wrong for this woman to do that. And you know what? I'm just gonna call this woman, I'm gonna classify her as a straight up hood rat. She's a wild hyena hood rat. That's exactly what this mother is. And I don't care if anybody gets offended. I don't care. This woman is a straight up hood rat. And another thing is, if, I just don't understand why people like this get to have children. There are people in this world, there are couples in this world who are so lovable, kind, gentle, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, basically. Whether they believe in this or not, that's what they show. And they want to have children. They want to love and protect their children. And there are some people who can't have them due to medical reasons. And yet people like this mother here in this video, she has, it looks like she has three. She has three kids. In the beginning of the video, if you notice, there was a little baby. There was a little baby right at the door, the front door. And yeah, people, people like this could have children. Well, there are people out there who are struggling, who want, to have, who want to have them struggle at it. That's totally, totally upsetting. The most messed up people on the, the most messed up people on the planet are the most fertile beings ever known to existence. They are. Like this hood rat mother you see in this video. And another, another sick thing about it is, I, I have to mention, I have to mention this part. And this is just straight up my opinion right here. Some of you may agree on this. Some of you may not. But I must have to say this about the child's father. Where was the child's father when this video was recorded? Where was the father? Because if that was me, if I find out that the woman I'm with doing something like this, I'm throwing her ass out. I don't give a damn what she's going to say. I'm throwing her ass out. That's exactly what I'm going to do to protect my kids. I'm throwing her ass out. And, um, yeah. And another thing is, like, I have to say this about, if you remember my, uh, my video regarding the, uh, the woman who shot her husband because he lost a job, men, you need to be careful on who you pick to be with. You really need to be careful on who you pick, the woman you choose to bear, to have kids with. Be careful in that. And I understand. It's not an easy, it's not an easy, um, it's not an easy thing to do when picking a woman to be with. It's not. And I'm gonna say this because there are a lot of there are a lot of women like 
a lot of messed up women like women like the woman in this video. There are a lot of them out, out there. And you need to have uh you need to have a mind of perception. You need to have perception when picking a woman to be with. You have to for yourself. You have to do that for yourself. Because you pick a woman like that, this is going to be on you too. You pick a woman like the woman in this video, this is going to be on you too. But I got to remember, I'm not putting the full blame on the father. I'm not. I'm not doing that. So don't don't try to get try to think I'm doing that because I'm not. The mother shouldn't have done that. She should not have done that. And there was a news report saying that this was a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. And she could say it's a joke, but it's not. He's going to take this the wrong way, which is what he should. The child should take this the wrong way. The um the way um what I mean by taking it the wrong way is is that he should take it as his mother being wrong, being mean. This is not right. This was mean, and that's exactly how it was. Nothing was done right in this in this story. As I watch these viral videos, I got to see who's right and who's wrong. The one who's right are the kids. The one who's wrong is the mother, and that's how it is. And for the mother, I hope that she get exactly what she deserves. And which is, those kids need to be taken away from her. Because what's going to stop her from doing something like that again? If Trump, real, if Trump uh, tr So Trump's going to be president for the next four years. And he decides to run for a re-election. And he gets elected again. Is he going to do this again? I, I mean, is she going to do this again? Is she? But I believe she will. I believe she will. I can't stand. I can't stand why people like this get to do the things they're doing. And thinking they're going to get away with it. And what's bad enough, she recorded it and posted it online. So now the whole world's going to see this. It's good that we all seen it because we all get to we all get to um, share, fight for the justice of this child. And of course, the child's safe. So I heard an update. The child is okay. Thank God he's okay. But I pray that this child, he'll get some counseling and some therapy. And find some people that he trust, that he will trust in life as he grows up to become an adult. And I pray that he won't become a statistic, that he won't, that he'll choose, that he won't have that much hatred against his mom, that he'll go out, he'll just go out and run wild, run wild, and just become another negative statistic. Become a thug, um, be with some girl, get her pregnant, get her pregnant and be absent out of the lives of the children that he'll bring in the world. And that's not what I hope for him. I hope for the opposite, that he'll be someone to look up to. So that's all I've got to say about this. Feel free to like, comment, and favorite my video, or feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.